Okay, mi gente, so I'm super excited for our next guest. At an early age, he learned how food is a sign of love. Yes, indeed he did, and now he's blowing up social media with his simple recipes, and with over a quarter of a million followers on TikTok, he joins us now with his catchphrase, let's get cooking, good looking. Y le damos la bienvenida a Eric Labra. So thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, we mentioned that you have a tremendous online following because of your simple and delicious recipes, but there's something else that has clicked with people, and we're going to take a look at that first. Hey, make dinner with me tonight. We're making kare kare, a delicious Filipino dish. Let's get cooking, good looking. Yo. Ay, Dios mío, Dios mío. We got to turn, give me a fan or something. That was right. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to talk to us about that catchphrase. How did you come up with it? When did you find it that people were like, oh man, ay, me gusta eso. Tell us. <laughs> Let's get cooking, good looking. Ay. There it is. <laughs> You know, I, I build my content as if I'm talking to a friend. So I feel like it's really, it's a general form for me to bring a friend over to the kitchen. And when I first started um, using that phrase, I got so much love and support from it um, that captivated the audience or my viewers. So, and I think that's the most important thing because I want to make sure like, you know, it's as if you're cooking with a friend, you know, um, and I want to keep it like that. And mm. even today, it's something I always get so many messages and um, about it. So I love it. I love that. It's relatable. It's 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 natural. And like, I gotta I gotta ask you, man. Where does your passion for cooking come from? And do you think that food is the way to anyone's heart? Yes, definitely. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> my mom, my mom has five sisters. And growing up, all my tias and my mom would make me food. You know, for like my birthdays, holidays, everything, every little special occasion. And I just learned that it's like a, a form of love. You know, a lot of people might not have a, a lot of things like money wise, but you can show your love with food. Um, and it's also part of like the culture, la cultura, you know, um, which I love. And I'm, I'm so happy that I'm able to kind of share it with, with viewers. So I know, of course, you know, you got girls crushing on you and all that stuff. But what feeling do you want to evoke to people when they watch your videos and, and when you're cooking and all that? You know what? More, more most importantly like I feel like food can be intimidating right cooking sometimes you, you look at a at a cooking video and you're like oh that looks good but it's kind of difficult mm -hmm. um, but I want to show like my friends my viewers that it's not that difficult you can do it I know that right now we live in a in a time where uber eats and like all these food delivery services are available um, but you can make it at home it's it's not that hard as long as you you know put a, a little bit of love into it um, you can accomplish it you heard that, Jean-Paul? I, I heard that, that. Jean-Paul? I, I got to ask, Eric, because, you know, I, I'm in need of some help. I'm just going to put this out there in the universe. Is there a cookbook anytime soon we can all look for in the future? Maybe? Dude, yeah, dude. That's that's the ultimate goal. Um, that's that's my that's my dream. So hopefully within the next year or so, I can put that out there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got a little bit of time, but really quick, what advice would you give men who don't know how to cook? Dude, see, yes, you can. Um, if you have a, a lady friend, a, a girlfriend, or someone that you're interested in, I promise you, you just make them a little food, and you can uh, win your your uh, win their heart. <laughs> you heard that. I was taking notes right there. Okay, now we got it. <laughs> well, listen, we, we went digging into your social media a little bit, and we noticed that when you're not cooking, the gusta mucho uh, uh, thirst trap selfie. What's uh, let's see, let's take a look at this. Wait, hold on. Oh my on. goodness. I gotta <laughs> roll, please. No problem. Oh, yeah, there we go. Not a problem. <laughs> I mean, John, you should know because you've been posting them too. That you guys, you guys, <laughs> I, could, have, do you get like, I'm assuming the female fans are just all over there, right? You know, you know what you're doing, right? Good looking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, I just want to uh, show, show myself that like, you know, I can, I can eat things that I want to, want to eat and still feel good. You know, um, I think that's the most important thing. So I'm, uh, I know it's a thirst trap, but yeah. <laughs> okay. it's, it's, it's a, they're, they're feel good photos. So really quick before you go, what's your um, IG handle? It's uh, Eric Labra. Oh, well, thank you so much for being oh, on the yeah. show. See, guys, you can cook too. Thank you so much. We love you. Next time you're in Orlando or in Central Florida, make sure and stop by the show. Muchas gracias, Eric. Gracias. Un beso, amor. Cuídate. We'll be back soon.